Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I have been extremely busy. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, this is my first video of me talking about something since um what the past couple of days because uh, Atlanta Comic Con came, and you know I've been pretty much busy, and I did um two videos. You know, I did a vlog, and then. I did a cosplay contest as well. So yeah, um, it's been pretty hectic and stuff like that. But um, I want to talk about the whole news with the James Tenney and Quentin Batman um, for the Shutter Shutterfly, I think, um, Shutter Shack thing that's going on. And the reason why I want to talk about that is because it's been a whole bunch of um, things that's going on with the comic book industry, especially when Jim Lee and Daniel Cherry came out and was like, oh, everything's fine. We're listening to the customers. We're listening to the fans. We're making sure that we're getting um, everything that happens in outside of the comic books is a reflection of the comics themselves. And you got to wonder, like, what the hell is going on? Like, DC comic books is on this. Yeah, we're we're doing fine while fire is surrounding the entire place. And I'm just wondering to myself, like, what is the comic book industry doing? And then not even that. Then you have some of the creators and um artists, you know, crowdfunding or GoFundMe stuff for like simple things or whatever. And the, it, it gets you wondering, like, what's going on in this industry that they're talking about, oh, we're at an all-time high, sales are doing great or whatever. No, manga and certain YA novels are doing good. Comic books are doing terribly, you know what I'm saying? And with this whole thing of James Tenney and leaving Batman to do some creator own stuff that gets more of an exclusive contract and an exclusive deal than he would with DC, like, he's walking away from Batman right now, and, you know, it's kind of weird, like, you're choosing to do your own thing over writing Batman, and it gets me wondering, like, the comic book industry, you guys gotta, like, figure out something, because this doesn't make any sense that your writers and creators are up and in leaving and whatever, especially, you know, your good talent. Your good talent is doing their own thing. I mean, I'm not saying that they're not going to still work for you guys, but you, we've been hearing this thing of a lot of creators talking about they don't get enough royalties from anything. They don't get um, any thank yous or whatever. It's just like they, as if they didn't contribute to anything that was going on or whatever. And I don't know. I, something's got to give. I mean, there's got to be some kind of breaking point. But I don't know. It seems like the fear of of change is you know because you guys got to figure out something you really do you 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 know come book industry you guys got to figure out something you can't keep staying the same gestation for a long time i mean people who've been working for you guys you know are barely making money above property property lines but they're writing these characters that you're selling for billions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? And you got to be in movies and, and shows like it ain't nobody business. So it just makes no sense that some of the creators and writers and, and artists aren't getting, you know, money or whatever, stuff like that. I mean, you can't even keep um, a certain art. You can't even keep artists on a, on a comic book line without it getting changed in the middle or... Maybe they do issue number one, two, and then after that, issue number three and four is completely different by another artist or a filling artist and stuff like that. And yeah, y'all gotta figure out something. Y'all gotta do something better than this. You're gonna have to change the format of the comic books at all and stuff like that because you literally have James Tinian leaving Batman to do his own thing. And I'm not saying that he's quitting DC altogether or anything, but. You know, it kind of sucks when, like, people are leaving the big two to try to do their own thing or whatever. I mean, Todd McFarlane did it best, to be honest. Um, Spawn, and then now he does this toy thing, and now he's making so much money from that or whatever. 
And it's like, you know, people want to have some kind of control control or ownership of that kind of stuff or whatever. If you're if you're gonna ask somebody to write your character for you know, forever, you gotta you gotta you gotta make it worth their while or whatever stuff like that. If they come up with a brand new character, you gotta give them royalties for that that kind of stuff. You gotta make it enticing and you gotta have people that actually care about these characters and not trying to change it for a political standing or whatever. Like it just isn't making any sense to be honest. For me, like I'm I'm getting kind of lost and confused with you know, one minute y'all saying that the comic book industry is doing well and they're at a high with, with sales or whatever, but then you have all of these um, creators coming out saying that they're not making hardly any money from it. Um, DC and Marvel don't really give them residuals for anything or whatever and stuff like that. They give them that one flat rate or whatever. Um, they're making what, for each page they write or draw, they're what barely getting enough to survive but then y'all live in y'all y'all headquarters and stuff is in is in new york city and california and that's really retardedly expensive or whatever so i don't know i'm just kind of confused with everything that's going on right now where we're sitting here saying that everything is fine clearly everything is not fine and it's just like a it's like a domino effect just keeps happening. I don't know if anybody have noticed that, but it's been literally a domino effect going on. Like it's like it's like Jim Lee and Daniel Cherry is it, is smoking crack and don't understand what's going on. Like oh, DC comic books will be around forever, and all of those rumors is just that or whatever. And I'm just like you guys aren't really addressing anything. You're just telling us that it's supposed to be okay. We're supposed to trust you just because of who you are. But you guys ain't did nothing to show that or whatever. Y'all have this mentality too. Another thing with these creators as well is like you guys want money or whatever. Stuff like that. But then you don't want to produce anything that the fans want anymore nowadays. That's another problem with a lot of the creators as well. Then you guys got these blockchains going on. You talk about how terrible the fans are then you try to get each other fired or whatever i mean for god's sake they you know they came after frank miller i mean you know like him or not he's still a legend and you know what have you guys done that can amount to anything you know frank miller did you know half of them folks that are doing that can't amount to nothing or whatever but you know, and then they're hiring cheap talent. The page rate has dropped. Um, it's just the whole non nonsense or whatever. And, you know, right now, people just don't trust you guys anymore. Like, they don't trust the big two anymore. And now they're leaving it. Like, to me, what are you guys going to do? What are you guys going to do? Because you're hiring talent that a lot of people don't care for. They're going back and changing the history of these characters so much. You're rebooting the continuity. You're starting over with issue number ones a lot with these with these books. And the legends and the people who could actually make sales for these books are walking away. So if they're walking away and your fans are walking away, what do you have left at the end of the day? You might have a few people, but it's not enough of them to hold this industry together. So y'all got to figure out something. I don't know what to tell y'all, but y'all got to figure out something because everything is not okay. Everything is not fine, contrary to popular belief. Everything is not fine. You have manga that is kicking your behind every day. You have people who do crowdfunding stuff every day that's kicking your ass in plenty of things. I mean, for God's sakes, I went to a convention and there were people selling their own comic book issues and they seem like they're doing way better than what dc and marvel is doing because it's creator owned it's their own stuff or whatever so you know it's 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 pretty crazy how life kind of just went around or whatever and y'all are starting to push people away to where they're going to crowdfunding to indies to um what's the other one called i guess indiegogo and kickstarters and then you have people like Ethan Van Skyver who's doing his own thing, and you're getting people going in there, and then Tom McFarlane, 
expand the Spawn universe. And of course, he has his toy line. Then you have Invincible that's doing his own thing right now. So, you know, you, you got a whole lot of stuff. Y'all got to figure out something. But y'all going to have to sit and change. Y'all going to have to change. You know, no matter what anybody say, y'all going to have to change in order for people to actually want to read and support this stuff anymore because James Tinney and leaving should be some kind of wake up call that y'all need to kind of sit down and be like, wait, us big two, we're Marvel and DC and we're the leaders of the comic book industry and yet we can't keep anybody or people are starting to to leave and there's cracks found um, forming in our foundation. We're are slowly losing in everything that's going on right now. And I just don't understand what they're not understanding about, you know, the things that are going on right now. Like, it's just, it's just kind of crazy how life just kind of have a way of, of like slapping you in the face when you, you, you know, you, you still talking all that stuff or whatever. And it's like, that's great and all, but, um, yeah, you guys are going to have to, actually sit down and actually be like yeah we need to figure out something and we need to figure out it fast because people are literally walking away from walking away from us right now and i don't know what we need to do but we need to do we need to do something like asap rocky to be honest so i don't know i mean I mean, how many times have people done told told y'all what y'all have to do and you guys constantly ignore it? So, I don't know. I mean, maybe this might be something, but hopefully, like I said, this will be some kind of wake-up call for both Marvel and DC to kind of be like, we need to change things around. Um, and your movies aren't going to be able to save you because you guys think that y'all can make movies and do all of these retarded changes to everything or whatever, and that keeps people in. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. You know, those movies are trying to trying to recuperate the cost of the losses that you guys are losing all the time. And, you know, we've seen that these are flops or whatever. I mean, Black Widow, um, the MCU TV shows, then you have, um, what, the first DC movie coming out, The Suicide Squad, which I heard was good, but it flopped at the box office or whatever, even though it's better, it's better than the first movie, that's what I've told, I haven't got a chance to see it, because like I said, I've been at Atlanta Comic Con, um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know, it's, it's all becoming a domino effect that, it, I don't know, I feel like the comic book industry really need to kind of sit down and be like, how are we going to make people, you know, turn a profit? Because this didn't used to be, this didn't used to be before 2016, comic books were, were selling. So I don't, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I'm, I'm kind of confused and lost about what happened. Like, how are we letting Japan come out of nowhere and kick kick American butt is beyond me. I mean, you guys know the answer. I know the answer. But it's like the people that are in charge of the comic book industry just are completely stupid or dumbfounded by everything. But hey, it is what it is. Those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comments section below. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.